Hi, this is Nikki, and I'm here to share messages that I get from spirit for all of us who are all on this journey to love and to reunite with our divine vibrational matches in this lifetime. And uh, today I'm going to share another message from this amazing deck, the Messages of Love Oracles, which is by uh, All Things Intuitive. If you follow her on Instagram, I think it's at All Things Intuitive, and it's uh, a deck that I shared yesterday as a gift from the Vibrarian. So go and check both of those out. Those two ladies are on the same path as us, and uh, this deck is just another level of all things amazing (laughs) so uh it has given me like some crazy answers so what we're going to do is use the deck again to say what is the message that your twin wants to give you at this time i'm going to share a poem from tanya's book the flourishing goddess and also then read a corresponding channeled letter from my books as well so we've got a little schmorgers board of uh guidance coming up So let's have a look because this deck, I can't tell you, it's just been so spot on with all the messages. It's crazy. So what does your twin want to tell you at the moment? What is going on? What do we need to know? Okay, so the message is all about forgiveness. So if you're anything like me in this situation recently, um, a few weeks ago, uh, that I had to set boundaries with my twin, I was just like, right, that's it. And, um, and things, and then the reading yesterday was again spot on because like decisions are having to be made, forgiveness has to be given so that we can move on, right? So the message is, (laughs) it's time for yourself to play hard, right? Uh, Because it's so easy to get kind of like swept up in the emotion of everything. And of course it is emotional and it takes a while to come through that. But on the other side of it, there is look at that vulnerability so exactly what this this deck i tell you what is so crazy because it's so spot on so basically i had to be completely open with my twin which is part of the reason why i had to set boundaries again because i was like okay i can't do this and uh, i had to be completely honest and tell him my feelings and then say this is an you know i can't just carry on like this so look at that the time apart is bringing you clarity I mean, seriously, man, this is crazy because everything happens for a reason and to trust in um, you've got to put away the computer, put put away all those messages about, you know, on, uh, (laughs) that's hilarious, Um, on YouTube where it's saying, pick a card, what do they think about you? What do they want to say to you? What do they want to do this? All of that stuff, like put that away because ultimately this Um, your twin is whatever is happening for you and your dynamic there is remorse on their side Um, it's okay to go a little bit slow because that's the nature of the game because we are in a divine connection and there will be things that are impacting on your relationship at the moment so whether it be addiction whether it be other relationships whether uh, whatever is holding you back there are energetic uh, barriers that need to be worked through So just know that your twin is longing for you just as you are longing for them. It is a mutual, mutual, mutual journey. Look at that. Because a new love or develop a a new level of love has been reached in your connection. And that is 100% of what's going on at the moment. So trust. You're safe to trust in this situation because it is there for a divine purpose. So oh my god right so did the situation align with your values and morals well no it didn't that's why i had to create a that's why i had to create boundaries so uh you know we've got to accept the situation and let go and that is (laughs) what's going on at the moment i mean the timing isn't right so that's fine and (laughs) i love it it's hilarious so um this friendship is leading to more so it's a beautiful thing right so you know those red flags that come up they come up for a reason don't ignore it um trust that you can lean on your so you've got support at the moment just lean on that support team because ultimately look at that this relationship does deserve a second chance so keep on going and that's what i mean by this deck i would highly highly recommend anyone that wants to delve in the cards themselves then get this set of cards 
at uh, All Things Intuitive on Instagram. She has a link on her bio. Because literally, all of those cards just gave a complete overview of what's happened in my situation and therefore I'm sure lots of yours because it comes to a point where you're just like okay this isn't working for me anymore I need to set set my boundaries I need to tell you my feelings and you need to go away and do what you have to do until we come into a balance and that's exactly exactly what these cards just said and that's exactly what's happening for me i know for lots of other people they're going through it in different ways but basically essentially that is what's happened and uh, so that's that's just miracles right <laughs> miracles miracle cards i love them that's crazy so uh let's have a look from the book of poetry by tanya what page are we no 41 again that was from yesterday that's crazy. I'm going to do a different one. Check out yesterday's video. This number is 17. So the breaking. Emotion is shock. Her entire reality crumbles. Her carefully constructed life falls to rubble. She looks around to see everyone and everything else continue in clockwork colour. But through her new lens, her life is monochrome madness. Ooh. That is uh, when you're going through that journey of when your life is just falling apart around you, the tower moments, the tower moments that break you open to lead you to the to the color, right? Which is what, you know, for many of us, I know, again, sharing my journey, but I had to do that with my twin recently again. And uh, which is why, yeah, it does break you down, but it breaks you down to make you stronger. So, emotion is shock, her entire reality crumbles. Her carefully constructed life falls to rubble. She looks around to see everyone and everything else continue in clockwork colour. But through her new lens, her life is monochrome madness. But through the madness comes the magic. So, and that was on page 17. So, I will read letter 17. So, for those who want to get this book, T underscore flourishing goddess on Instagram. Her link is in the bio as well. So it's T underscore flourishing goddess. And the uh, the cards are for at all things intuitive. So these cards are by at all things intuitive. And this book is T underscore flourishing goddess on Insta. And then of course, my books are um, all channeled letters between people's twins and higher selves. And these are also on my Insta, which is at Divine Love Crystal Grid. So 17, that everything that she has an inkling about, she should believe. She knows the truth. You know the truth about us, about me, about our time and our path together. You need to trust that what you feel is right, even though it doesn't make any sense to your logical brain how you know that. But that's the thing, that's the greatest lesson of all, that love defies all logic. There is no explaining it. There is no judgment in it. There is no pain in love. When you really focus on the love and not the fact that we're not together in our bodies, when you focus on your heart and the fact that we have always been together, saving each other and guiding each other to the light, always, always there, right by each other's side, in times of need, in times of joy, in times of sadness, across all time, space and realities, we are one. <clears throat> okay, beautiful, just beautiful. I simply adore you in the simplest way, the truest way, the most honest and wholesome way, basically with all of me. I love all of you. It's been a hole in my heart that I've been looking to fill and I know that my search is over. I know that soon our time will come to fill each other's holes, the holes in our hearts where each other's key fits. We hold the key, the sacred key for one another. That's why we felt like there's something missing, that we've always been on the edge of our life beginning. It's because we give each other the key to complete our life mission. We unlock each other's souls. Oh, wow. So, um... We unlock each other's souls, right? We all do that for each other, bit by bit. So feel me holding your hand, walking through this windy path that leads us back to our love. Trust that I am here for you. Trust that what you feel is true. Know that you're not going crazy. I did and do feel the same as you. 
all of those feelings of true love, overwhelmingly indescribable, uncontrollable feelings, like rushes of adrenaline shooting through our bodies, a sense of coming home, and then overwhelming terror to think we'd never see each other again. All of that we both felt. But now the beautiful thing is we never need to feel that feeling of fear and terror and desperation of not seeing each other again because we will be with one another for eternity. We are eternally entwined by the heart and soul. Wow. So, I mean, that's what I mean. It's so beautiful. So keep on going, keep moving towards the light and uh, just trust that whatever you're being guided is your truth. So I'm going to give them a shout out once more, T underscore Flourishing Goddess for the poetry book, for these incredible cards. And I think she has another three decks. It is at All Things Intuitive and they are just incredible cards, I have to say probably the best deck I've seen I must admit so it is the time apart some distance will help bring clarity so remember that's what's happening at the moment if you're apart you're apart for a reason it's okay to trust in this situation and uh, you know just know that it's bringing you into a deeper sense of knowing so I really hope that helps and I really hope that you all have a lovely day if you want a healing a reading a channeling please do all details are in the link and just know that they always come to you in divine timing. Um, sometimes the energy has to feel right. I have a lot of other personal stuff going on at the moment, um, which means that I, I have to be in the right place to be able to do channelings and all that sort of stuff. And so just trust that it will come to you at the right time. And so um, believe, believe in the power of your soul. Believe in the power of you. Believe in the power of love. Believe in the power of you to bring all things together. So if you are having to create boundaries or have had to do that recently, it's okay. You know, that happened for a reason. Time apart is bringing greater clarity. Um, it was uh, so that you can be more open and vulnerable with each other. So trust. All right. Take care. Have a good one. Bye.